Hey guys! In today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 8 best budget gaming keyboards. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is MSI Vigor DK50 Low Profile RGB Gaming Keyboard. Gaming keyboards with low-profile switches can come at a premium, but the MSI Vigor DK50 Low Profile, along with the full-sized switch version on this page, offers one of the best budget mechanical keyboard experiences and is on sale right now for about $45. It competes well against pricey keyboards and particularly excels in typing. Its low-profile switches bring back memories of typewriters with its shamelessly loud clicks. We also like the fast response, which made our fingers want to get moving even faster. It's not the perfect keyboard. In fact, we found the stiffer shift key to be a hindrance and the stiffer spacebar to affect our ability to use it rapidly while gaming. On top of this, the accompanying software doesn't download properly at the moment, so RGB and other customization is limited. However, this clacker has the speedy switches that gamers need with a the design they like, plus a typing experience that made us feel nostalgic and eager to get to work. Number 7 in my list is Cooler Master CK 552 Gaming Keyboard. Our review unit came equipped with Gateron Red switches that proved responsive during gaming so much so that our review occasionally pressed keys they didn't mean to. This also means it stumbled a bit during heavy typing sessions. Choosing a different switch type might help, but the other switch options are more difficult to find online at this time. Good for gamers and enthusiasts, the CK552 features onboard memory that can store up to four profiles and on-the-fly controls that make it easy to record macros and control the backlighting. It's also compatible with the Cooler Master Portal utility, which offers more granular controls over many of the same areas but isn't as robust as rivals, such as Razer Synapse. Still, this dual approach should appeal to people who don't like to install a bunch of software and those who want greater control over their peripherals. Number 6 in my list is Logitech G613 Lightspeed Gaming Keyboard. Until this point, we've only recommended wired keyboards, that's because a high-performing wireless gaming keyboard usually comes with a price tag much higher than $100. Enter the Logitech G613 Lightspeed. This full-size wireless unit offers incredible gaming performance thanks to its remarkably low latency. It also uses the same sensitive Romer G tactile switches as the Logitech G413, which offer a nice key press with a smooth tactile bump that feels very responsive while gaming. There are quite a few extra features packed into this already impressive board, like dedicated media keys, a column of dedicated macro keys, and even a built-in wrist rest for better ergonomic support. Of course, there are some trade-offs. The G613 lacks backlighting of any kind, which is a bummer for those who like darkroom gaming, as you'll have to rely on your screen to illuminate the keys from above. Alternatively, the OpenSlab and Pro 2 has full RGB backlighting that you can customize on a per-key basis. Number 5 in my list is Rockat Magma Silent Membrane Gaming Keyboard. I've been thoroughly impressed by the tactility of the Rocket Magma Membrane Keyboard's rubber dome switches, and the unique RGB top plate design really is a sight. Though it may not be as sturdy as some boards, nor as full of fancy greebles, it's a literal beacon of excellence among membrane gaming keyboards. Sadly, there's no per-key lighting here, but Rocket has opted for five separately configurable lighting zones behind the keycaps. The zoned RGB design does still offer some nice gradients and effects, but the cycle isn't as smooth as it could be, and the colors aren't super accurate. It looks a little dim in places, and there are a few blemishes under the top plate that detract from the design, though some might like the cyberpunky, naked look Rockat was going for here. Swarm software has some funny gimmicky features, like the ability to add sounds to your key presses, such as a typewriter or some laser beam pew-pews. The most practical feature comes in the form of Rockat's easy shift key assignment. Not all the keys are assignable, 
but there's a huge list of potential actions for each one that is. Number 4 in my list is HyperX Alloy Core RGB Gaming Keyboard. HyperX is a trusted name among peripheral manufacturers. While it typically caters to a more premium brand, the Alloy Core RGB brings extensive features and reliable performance at an affordable price. The price does skirt the definition of a budget keyboard, but the dedicated media controls and customization software help justify the MSRP. HyperX has had to incorporate membrane switches for this particular model, but that has the added effect of making the alloy core spill resistant. We prefer mechanical keys, but a quality membrane is still much better than some old office board. With the alloy core, it's a decision of what you're after in a gaming keyboard. If you're after a full-size keyboard with some extra features and solid RGB lighting effects, something like the Alloy Core or the Rocket Magma are more your speed. You're not going to find many mechanical keyboards going for very cheap with a full-size layout, as every switch is an added cost. Though if you don't necessarily want a full-size board, we still recommend a mechanical keyboard first and foremost, like those above. Number 3 in my list is Cakerun K2 version 2 wireless gaming keyboard. This is exceptionally cheap for a wireless keyboard, even more so for its high quality. It starts out at just $69, and for that you get a decent sized gaming keyboard with great wireless functionality and genuinely mechanical gator and switches. Its design is nicely simple with gray ABS keycaps and a slightly more compact 84 key layout that only skimps out on the numpad and offers a slightly squashed nav cluster. Whilst I've previously argued that 60% compact keyboards may be the way to go if you're a space even gamer, the Keychron K2's 75% offering may just make me rethink that decision. For more of an affordable board, the build quality is nicely sturdy with no deck flex and a decent bit of heft. It's no Model M of course, but for the price, I don't have any complaints. As switches go, my review sample is kitted out with some Cherry MX Brown clones courtesy of Gateron. As much as Gateron say there's a 55 gram weight to them, I can't help but think they feel an awful lot lighter than that and in comparison to the real things, also feel a tad hollow. To make matters worse, underneath the backspace and enter key, it's possible to hear the sound of the metal stabilizer making the switches pretty pingy, which brings the feeling of the Keychron K2 being a more affordable board too close to home. The triple device connectivity definitely makes short work of switching devices or locations throughout the working day. Number two in my list is Havit Gaming Keyboard. While only available with clicky proprietary blue switches, this model does come packaged with a wired optical gaming mouse. That's the big benefit of this 2-in-1 habit package. You don't need to throw even more money at a gaming mouse. You're essentially ready to game with this one, surprisingly affordable package. The exposed hardware and aluminum backplate give this version of the Havit mechanical keyboard a sturdy industrial look. And it must be said that it is a fairly sturdy, if a little plasticky feeling, keyboard. The keycaps and fairly easy to navigate, as well, and there's even a wrist rest included. What I will say about that wrist rest is that it doesn't offer a tremendous amount of support, as it's so low to the ground and doesn't have any padding. Best not buy it just for that one feature then. Besides the lack of exclusive customization software or dedicated media controls, this package of Habit peripherals leaves little to be desired. I mean you're getting two for the price of one here, and that's great if you need a keyboard and mouse in a pinch and for less. Number one in my list is E-Element's Z88 Gaming Keyboard. The Z88 from E-Element is available in either black or white and offers a variety of Outemu switches, meaning it's great for the cheap connoisseur who likes to pick and choose everything about their setup. Those Outimu switches don't feel as high-grade as the Cherry ones listed above, but they are genuinely mechanical. That means you don't have to worry about the spongy feeling of a membrane no more. The keycaps do look and feel a bit cheaper than you might expect of a well-known brand, but they are easy to read on the E-Element. They're made of ABS plastic, which is the least resistant to wear of the two commonly found keycap materials, but ABS plastic is often found on more expensive keyboards too. Just don't slam the keys too hard in anger, 
and you'll be okay for a good while. It's a cheaper board but you're grabbing mechanical for under $50 here. Plus it's often discounted for even less. We saw it go for $30 earlier this year, so keep an eye out for those sales. While you will notice the difference in quality between this and a Precier gaming keyboard, at least you aren't settling for anything less than mechanical. Alright guys this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.